AWS Cloud Services has really enabled us to deliver a much more reliable solution globally at a lower cost relative to what a customer could do uh, itself. Uh, we also can focus our software talent on building a differentiated application or learning platform that is unique in the market. My name is Tony Abadi. I am the Chief Operating Officer of Echo360. Echo360 is an active learning solution for mostly higher ed and K-12 globally. We service over 650 customers in 30 countries, and we provide a platform that helps teachers and students um, manage the learning process before, during, and after class with a suite of learning tools. Teachers and students use the Echo360 platform for a number of use cases, not the least of which is to improve the learning experience for students who are physically at the school, but also can be used for distance learning students who never ever make it on campus. Students use it to uh, review content, to collaborate on the content with their peers, flag issues directly to a professor or a teaching assistant, and to effectively follow up with content both uh, before class, if they are given a learning module before class, during class in a very interactive session and after class. What it also provides, more importantly, is a lot of usage analytics to a teacher that they've never had before, so they can actually intervene with respect to students who are struggling well in advance of having a test. The Echo360 Active Learning Platform leverages a number of AWS cloud services. For example, we're heavy users of EC2, we are using S3 for our primary storage and Glacier for archiving, which is critical for our customers. We use ELB for load balancing, which is a huge uh, savings for us so we don't have to go build or manage that ourselves. We're also leveraging the non-relational database DynamoDB, which allows us to scale much more readily uh, across countries and in terms of the content that we actually manage, store, and archive. So the reason why we moved everything to the AWS cloud uh, platform is because A, it is a much more robust solution that scales up and down with load. Uh, B, it's highly reliable. Uh, data is redundant, the application is redundant, the solution has a much higher uptime when run in the cloud implementation as opposed to an on-prem implementation. And the final benefit is it's actually going to be cheaper in the long run for the school itself to put the solution in the cloud than to run it themselves. When they're on spring break, things are very quiet. During exam period, it gets very frenetic. So we need a dynamic scaling of our solution by day of week and hour of day. If a school did this themselves on premises, it would probably cost them approximately $35 per student per year to operate. We can effectively do it for them at about $25 or almost a 30% reduction in cost, even when we're doing it and charging a margin for it. We could not scale our business as seamlessly without AWS Cloud Services. And we certainly couldn't do it on a global basis. We, we could have managed it ourselves. It would have been very expensive. We would have had to stand up servers in a number of different geographic regions. And we would have to do a lot of manual um, management of that capacity up and down. And we get all of that at a very low cost, almost in an automated fashion for us.